Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you basically can work with multiple providers. So the first question is, why do you want to work with multiple providers? And the reason can be different uh, depending upon your use cases. So probably it is like you want to work with different kind of resources. Say suppose I'm working with two different uh, providers, like one is AWS and other is say, for example, Kubernetes, right? So with using AWS provider, I probably want to uh, orchestrate my infrastructure and then using Kubernetes provider, I want to configure my pods and services, stuff like that, right? Uh, similarly, uh, there is another use case which I'm going to show you is basically how to deploy resources in multiple regions using the same module, right? So that's another use case for using multiple providers. So let's get started with that. So in the last video, if you remember, we had created a module. So if I just show you an EC2 module, right? And it was a very simple EC2 instance definition. You can see I'm creating, uh, I'm just creating an AWS EC2 instance and I'm passing certain variables, right? Like subnet and instance size and instance uh, AMI ID. <coughs> and similarly, I was using that module in my main TF over here so you can see I have a provider definition and then I just created a module and told it the source MI ID and stuff like that right so this instance was created in US West 2 region because that's my provider definition right but what if using this module I want to create an instance in US West as well as say US East right North Virginia so let's see how we can do that. So I'll first modify my main TF. So we don't have to change anything in our uh, provider, uh, not sorry, provider module definition that remains the same. It's the implementation where we are going to make the changes. So let's go into main.tf file and we'll make use of something called aliases for provider, right? So I'll define an alias and I'll call it best, right? And I'll just come down, copy everything, paste it over here. And then this is my second provider definition for US East. So this would be US East one. And the alias for this would be East, <coughs> right? Now I want to do is copy this as well. Right, just come down, paste it. Oh, it's not copied somehow. Okay, strange. Anyway, let's copy this again and paste it. Okay, just change the identifier. So I'll call this as say east create instance east and create instance west right so i've defined but there is a problem because we are defining certain variables like ami id uh, instance size can be because it can be available in both region but the ami id which we have used in our variables.tf file will not be available in this particular region east right this is because we i think we remember if you remember we hard coded it for the west ami and similarly for the subnet id right so now what we can do is i mean the generic way is to use data but we have not covered uh, data resource so we'll not go there but what i can do is save this clear the screen go into the variables tf file and I can modify my variable type, right? So what I can do, I can do something like type. So I can have a map type of variable, right? Where now what I can do, I can define it as a map. So this is my AMI for US West, right? And similarly, I can define and define an AMI for US East. I just need to go and find the AMI ID. So I'll just 
search for the AMI ID, I actually have it somewhere, so I'll just get it from there. Yeah, so this is the AMI ID for US East. And that's pretty much it. And for the subnet as well, we are going to do something similar. So again, we are going to define the type as map. Just come down. And this would be US West because this is my US West subnet. And we are going to find the subnet for US East. And let me just get that subnet ID. Okay. it all right so yeah that's pretty much it let's save this and now we go back to our main.tf file again and now we have to define the providers for each module which we are using right so how to explicitly so we are going to do an explicit definition and let's see how we do explicit provider uh, definition so we just let's go down here define a provider block and no sorry i think i'm just using the wrong syntax i think it is something like provider equal to yeah this would be AWS, although this is not the very good way to do it. Uh, the good way is actually to uh, put this in the required provider uh, values for the Terraform block, but we have not covered this, so I'll cover that. And how you call the aliases is AWS dot West. So West is my alias for the West uh, provider. Have it. And something similar I'm going to do for East so provider AWS AWS dot east. All right, so that's all we had to do. Let's save this. I mean, if we would have done anything wrong, we'll figure out. So let's do Terraform init once because we have a new uh, module, right? So we have to do Terraform init. And let's do Terraform plan to see if we have made any errors. Mm, I know provider equals provider is not supported. Oh, oh yeah, right. It's not my bad. So it's actually plural providers and not provider so you have to keep in mind so because the error is not very clear right so you would not able you will not be able to figure out that easily all right so we have some errors and yes so definitely we know what the errors are let's go to main.tf file so like we have defined two variables of kind map, but we are not using it, right? So for AMI ID, I'm not using it. And similarly for the subnet. So let's just use that. So for our West, it will be US hyphen West. And something similar for subnet. So I'll just copy it and put it, right? And same thing we'll do for East. copy this and put it over here let's save this and let's run plan again all 
all right so plan is successful this is the warning you can ignore it this is the same warning which i was telling you so you can see there is no explicit declaration for local provider so the terraform is assuming that you mean to pass a configuration for hcl hcop so this will this is just a warning we can ignore let's run terraform apply right and let's go to our aws console this is in north virginia so we don't have any running instances over here right now so we'll just wait so you can see east and west both are getting created and it should be here in some time creation got complete so you can see we have a running instance in us east and let's go to us west so i have this one instance already running but this one which is the new one t2 micro which has come up like right now you can see today's date right and today's time so this has come up just now and this is the warning like i said you can ignore the warning uh, this is actually asking us to follow some best practices which are we are not which we are not doing all right so that's how you basically use uh, multiple providers uh, that's how you work with multiple providers and yeah that's all i wanted to cover for this video uh, if you have any questions put that in the comments i'll be happy to help and please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching